today. Something a bit different, it's a bit too hot today just to do normal smoked meats, something big and low and slow. So today we can do a nice chicken salad. So I'm gonna just char grill some chicken, put a nice simple salad with um, some mixed lettuce leaves, a bit of mandarin, some, some cherry tomatoes, I've got two different colors here. So I've got the orange and the red. Spanish onion or red onion and some cucumber. So it's just a nice simple salad, dressed with a bit of balsamic vinegar and a bit of olive oil. So nothing too, some, nothing too hard today, nice simple salad. So let's get going. Take the tenderloin out, you can leave it on. Where the tenderloin was, just put a small slice in. So what we're trying to get is chicken to about two centimeters thick all the way through, as you can, all the way through. So as you can see there, that's gonna take a lot longer to cook than this piece here. So that's gonna dry out. So what we, what we don't want is one piece to dry out and one piece not to be cooked or vice versa, things like that. So what we do is just run the knife through the thick part, only the thick part, the thickest part, not all the way through. Lay it out, now that way you can see that chicken now is all the same thickness. So that's all gonna cook at the same time, allowing us to control the temperature better, not dry out the chicken. As you can see these ones are already pre-done. Again, all about the same thickness. So that way, everything's gonna cook in roughly the same amount of time. Now just lay it out. Now I'm just using a bit of all-purpose seasoning. So if you don't have any AP seasoning, or, um, just simply salt. You can grab the salt, pepper, garlic. That's about it, that's all you really want for this because we're just doing a simple, basic chicken breast. We don't want any overpowering flavors because what we want is the salad to really be the star of this. This chicken just to sort of bulk it out a bit. Now, I'm using a bit of peanut oil here. Obviously, if you have a peanut allergy, rice bran oil or simply a nice canola oil, anything like that. I wouldn't use the olive oil because we're cooking at high heat and olive oils tend to burn. Okay. So what I've done is rubbed a bit of, rubbed a bit of oil into this, onto the cut side. That's the side I'm gonna be cutting, cooking first. If I was, had a skin side, I'd be cooking the skin first, but since I haven't got any skin, I'm just gonna cook the cut side first. Now let's take this over to the barbecue. Okay, so here we are, we're cooking on the egg today. Now I've got the temperature sitting around the 280 degree mark. Now I'm using direct heat, so I haven't got any diffusers in there. Straight over charcoal, I'm gonna put it straight on the grill. That way I'll get the nice char marks. And that caramelization, so down we go. Like I said, that cut side down first. Instant sear. Okay, let's close it up. That's gonna, not gonna take long at all. It's probably about 10 minutes or up, really. That chicken will be done. So after, after about five minutes, I'm gonna turn the chicken, leave another five, five minutes max, and then take it out, let it rest for, let it rest for about three minutes, and then we can use it. So simply, if, you haven't got, if you're not keen with chicken, just use a thermometer. So if it hits 75 degrees for a breast, take it out then. So anything above 75 will be safe. Now come with me. Let's go back to our prep table and do some salad prep. Okay, yeah, since we've been working with chicken, I'll just get rid of this board. Change my gloves, won't belong. Okay, so salad prep. So a bit of Spanish onion or red onion. My scrap bowl. Won't need a full onion, I don't think. Now, the onion we want nice, small slivers. Obviously you don't want a big chunk of onion when you're having a salad. Alternative, if you don't want to use Spanish onion, a nice white onion would be good. So, but yeah. Definitely not brown. Yep. Okay. So there's some onion. Just put in the bowl we're going to be using. Okay, there we are. So there's quite a bit in there, really. Just, if you cut the angle a tiny bit, what you do, is it gives a nicer look. I don't know why, but it's just a chefy thing we do, but if you cut on the angle, your pieces get longer. 
nice and thin. So again, about half a cucumber, not the onion, not too much. So the cucumber is going to be a by the way thing, you know? Okay, so now the mandarin. What we're going to do is something called segmenting. So I don't want any of the pith, obviously, because the pith is the bitter part of any, of any citrus. So the pith is the white left over here. So what we don't want is that. Now, simply run your knife in and in. So what that allows us is a nice little, little segment of mandarin. Again, so there's no, that way we're getting rid of the, end of the skin as well. Because last thing, sometimes, it's just unpleasant sometimes you get a big chunk of like mandarin peel caught in your teeth or something like that. So, yeah, there's a little bit of wastage on this, but what we can do is what I might do, the, any leftover mandarin here that I'm not cutting up, we'll squeeze over the salad at the end, as a bit of a, add to the bit of the dressing. Yeah. Now I've chilled on my fruit, I've chilled the fruit today. I like chilled mandarin when I'm doing my salad. Not too cold, so it just takes just that nice chill. Just a little bit of chill, just to, uh... Now leave that out. Okay, so now what I've got is some, um, what we call mescaline, or three, <laughs> three leaf salad. So in kitchens we're known, known as mescaline, but it is just a three leaf salad. So it's baby spinach, some fancy lettuce, and sometimes some rocket. So just a good couple of handfuls. Put that back on the ice. Okay, so what I'm doing now, just turning that onion through it. What I might do is get a bigger bowl, actually. Oh, sorry for the noise. So you don't want to rough up the salad too much, otherwise you're going to bruise some leaves. So just cut some cherry tomatoes in half long ways, throw them in. Now the only reason I'm using orange and red is for the colour contrast. So you can get some yellow ones in there too. Just the slightly different flavours. The orange ones are a bit sweeter, I find. And the red ones give a bit more of a bite. So just contrasting flavours. Okay, and it just gives a really nice look. Now obviously we've already got some orange in there with the um, with the mandarin, so. But it gives a nice bright look to the salad. Now you can also probably put some char grilled capskin in this if you wanted to at the end, but I, today we're gonna to be leaving it out. I just want more freshness flavor. Okay, whoop, nearly got it. Let's go check on that chicken. Nice bit of charring. Because it's been cooked in the egg, it's almost already cooked. A couple more minutes and it's done, I'll take it off. So, for the, yeah, for the salad dressing. Tablespoons of olive oil. A couple of slugs of, oh, probably about a tablespoon of balsamic, or maybe a couple of teaspoons, and a squeeze of the juice of the mandarin. So one. Now I'm going to put a bit of the AP in there as well, just a little sprinkle, just simply because it's got those flavours that we're already dealing with. Now I'm using my very fancy whisk here, no, it's just a plastic fork, so you combine it up, if you had a whisk you can use a whisk, but what you want to do is combine all those things, so olive oil obviously won't combine with anything watery unless you whisk it, 
and now that's going to emulsify. You can see it's starting to change velocity. Oh, excuse me. And so now that's starting to change. So it's becoming a bit thicker and creamier. Keep going. What we want to do a bit more air in there. Mix it all together. That's better. So that little, yeah, little, little hit of the, that mandarin flavor through the dressing as well. Okay, let's get this chicken off the grill and we'll go from there. All right, we're back, we've got our chicken. Put this over here. Now, so just Let's throw the mandarin through now. Now, I'm not dressing the salad to the last moment. So just be very gentle in turning your salad. As you can see, it's coming on quite nicely. Just gonna do two bowls in a moment. Some salad leaves. Make sure you get some more of the other condiment. Other bits of bob. Okay, now for the chicken. Perfect. As you can see, it's cooked beautifully. There's no rare spots because we cooked it all. It's all one size. It cooked a lot. It cooked evenly and fast. So again, a little handful of salad. Cherry tomatoes always stink in the bottom. And then we do lay some chicken on top. A bit of dressing. Just pour a bit of dressing over the top. And that is ready to go. A simple chicken salad, grilled chicken salad with mandarin. Perfect for a summer's day. Well, thank you very much. Join us next time. We'll be on the barbecues again. Have a great day. Thank you. Delicious. I love it. All right. Nice and simple. See you next week.